Marwadi was going from Delhi to Madras to purchase something. And when they don't believe in banks and all that, they always carry ready cash. Because banks are even now in India is not very popular. So ready cash in a pocket, I mean in a belt, he has got it on him and he got a smart corn man had found out that he has got cash in his mind and therefore he also came suited, booted, coated. And he also had uh, uh, reserved a seat in the same compartment, a first class. And all. So they said when he met this man, he asked him, he is only in dhoti, a shirt on. He asked him, you are going to? I'm going to Madras. Oh, you are going for business. Oh, you are doing business, dealing in business in textiles. Oh, I see. So then the Sadhguru asked a few te uh, technical and uh, very precise questions about textile industry and the market now. And this fellow doesn't know anything about it. He answered wrongly, but the Sadhguru never showed it. Oh, I see. So he understood that this fellow is not a textile man, but he is, must be coming with me because he knows that I have got cash. In the platform. It's two nights they have to travel in the train. Evening came, night came, and food was ordered and the restaurant people brought it and the, both of them ate and then afterwards they said he went to the bathroom got ready for the sleep and came back and laid down. So this man also went to the bathroom and then changed his clothes and the night dress and all that he has put in. He came back and he also went In the night, this fellow will not sleep because he has come for a purpose. Strategy. I mean, fearlessly sleeping, snoring away. He searched the whole room. Every square inch he searched. He can't find the money. Hey, where did he keep it? He has no box and things like that. But he must be somewhere. He searched, searched. And at about 3 a.m. he went to sleep. Exactly at 5.30. I mean, a strategy who got up. Krishna, 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 loudly crying and went to the bathroom. Very noisy in the bathroom and then came back and lay down. This fellow had to get up. He got up. He also went to the bathroom and came back. When he was coming out to the bathroom, what does he see? His eyes came out. Why? Certainly he was counting. <laughs> Counted and then he put it in his inner pocket. He said, oh, oh, it is in this room, okay. He was ready for the night. And in the night again, as usual, Sadhguru, after dinner and all that, Sadhguru went to the bathroom, came back. This man went to the bathroom, came back. By the time he came back, Sadhguru was already sleeping like an innocent baby. And the fellow started searching, searched everywhere. He could not get it every square inch of that room. With a trained hand, he searched. No, he could not. He slept. Early morning, five o'clock, Sadhguru got up, Krishna, 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 went to the bathroom. Came out. And this man also got up, what to do? No, he is not allowing me to sleep also. He got up. He also went disgusted, dejected, despondent, angry with God, that God is with the Satan, not with me. <laughs> went to the bathroom, and when he came out, <laughs> said he was counting and he is satisfied. By about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning, the train reached Madras. Said he got down first, and said he knew it probably. He stood there. He did not go out. This man came out, looked around, went to the strategy and says, Like a father to the son, I am coming as a son of yours. Please advise me. 
where did you keep it? <laughs> Advise me. I am surrendering to you as a guru. You have got a tremendous knowledge which I have not got it. Where did you keep it so safely? He said, <laughs> my grandfather used to tell me that the best place to keep when you have got suspicious of anybody, he will never search that place. I kept it under your pillow. <laughs> the young fellow with all devotion surrendered and prostrated to the old man and said, Sir, thank you for this tip. <laughs> Nobody will think that your money is under my pillow. I will search all over the place, but not under my pillow. In the same way, this Atman, the Self, is kept in you. That all our equipments are extrovert. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin, mind, intellect, all are functioning outward. And nobody detects this. Therefore, it is the secret of all secrets. I have already told you, Vimrsheda Dasheshena. May you think over it exhaustively. I don't want you to believe, thou shalt believe, or else thou shalt to hell go. No. You think over it. I have given you all the rationale for it, all the line of thinking for it. And this is the secret of all secrets. Now think over it until it rings a bell in you. Your understanding is necessary. It cannot be forced from outside. It is not a faith that you can force upon somebody. It is not conversion. Conversion on fear can take place. But that will not bring about the spiritual unfoldment. You must yourself come to know about it. Vimarshede asheshena. Thereafter, it is your decision. How, what you desire, you do it. Supposing after thinking about it, you came to the conclusion that the whole thing is a bluff, leave it. By you living with dance of spiritual life, the spirituality is not destroyed. If you say, no, it is a good thing, then you start working in it, you will be benefited. You do as you like. Give the complete freedom. My job is to give you this information. Encourage you to think for yourself and come to your decision. And having decided that it is not worthwhile, leave it. If you think that it is worthwhile, pursue it. You decide for yourself. As you desire thereafter, it is your wish, your will. Not because I said it that you must live. It must be your own conviction. Then only you will get yourself involved in it by yourself totally. It is a subjective search. Your total involvement is necessary. It cannot be thrust upon you from outside.